just like the Ten Commandments. We support all ten of those, too. And the Tenth Amendment made clear that the states and the citizens of the states reserved and retained those rights not granted to the federal government in the Constitution. The problem, the problem for the states is that the Constitution provides at the status. The problem for the status is that the Constitution provides obstacles to their agenda. This is why they speak of a living and breathing Constitution. This is why they use idiot phrases like emanations and penumbras. This is why they look to foreign law for guidance. The Constitution is a social contract. Like other contracts, it's to be read in the context in which it was agreed to. To change its meaning is to destroy the contract. To change its meaning is to destroy the Constitution of the United States. And that is exactly what the statists must do to advance their agenda. Just as the statists must reject the Declaration of Independence and dismantle the elements of a civilized society, so they must dismantle the Constitution and breach the firewalls that limit their power. That's exactly what they have been doing, and that's exactly what they are doing. The statists have effectuated this process by limiting the ability of the governed to influence their government. They've institutionalized their agenda by creating a fourth branch of government, the administrative state, that is a massive bureaucracy. Now this bureaucracy rules by fiat. Yet the rules have the force of law and cannot be influenced at the ballot box. Even more pernicious, the status have created an oligarchy of unelected lawyers who are sworn as judges but behave as members of an all-powerful Politburo, ruling supreme over the other federal branches of government, over the states, and over anything else they want to rule over. And the judges, once appointed, serve until they choose to leave. Now, we've had 120 or so Supreme Court justices. That's it, 120. About 10% of them have been unethical, senile, racists. I wrote about it, I know this. They're like the rest of us. They're imperfect human beings. The framers never, ever intended to create a judicial oligarchy. The states would never have ratified the Constitution if they thought nine, seven at the time, whatever number of individuals on a court on high would dictate policy right down to their towns. Never, ever. Now through these unelected branches, the status have succeeded in disenfranchising the people. More and more decisions that directly affect their lives are made by fewer and fewer people who do not represent them. Even in the elected branches, the status pass laws to empower the unelected branches by nationalizing more and more areas of your life and bringing them under their control. And what are the states? What's come of the states? What's their role? Well, after three branches of the federal government have conspired to destroy their powers, they've become, in essence, administrative agencies of the federal government. No longer, in many respects, can they act independently. Look how far we've fallen from the founders to the framers who emphasize limits on the federal government. There are no limits on the federal government. Now we face a committed opponent. They are very, very serious about what they are doing and where they want to take this country. Do we know what we're about? Do we know where we want to go? Or are we spectators to, to the demise of this magnificent nation? 
Today, the statists continue their campaign to ban faith from the public square. Government is God. They target groups like the Boy Scouts for exercising their First Amendment rights. They are plotting to destroy conservative voices on talk radio and impose speech codes on college campuses. They demonize private enterprises in hopes of swallowing them up. They confiscate private property almost at will. They attack the family structure and they destroy life in the name of liberty. We conservatives have stood by and allowed these people to intimidate us. We don't even engage them on our terms most of the time. We call ourselves compassionate conservatives, as if to apologize for our beliefs. It's the status who needs to apologize for his beliefs, not us. We have allowed them to outmaneuver us. We've allowed them to take over our school systems and the media, to take over the judiciary and now Congress. The statists are now desperate to control the executive branch, at which point they'll run the whole enchilada. Is this what we want? Don't we owe future generations a little bit more fight? Let the status redeploy. We're not redeploying. We're not moving. We're going to defeat them. So what should we do? Well, we can't reverse all this overnight. But we have to begin, don't we? We have to begin to educate our fellow Americans about our beliefs, about their traditions, and how those beliefs and traditions will secure their lives and liberty. While we have precious little influence over the educational system, we can still educate. But we have to stop using apologies and phrases and worshiping false politicians. There's a difference between a politician and a statesman. We long for Ronald Reagan because he showed us the difference. He was a statesman. He talked about our philosophy. He did what he could as one man. He started the ball rolling. And there it sits. We must not allow the status to define us. We must define them. Since when are the Ten Commandments controversial? Unlike the statists, we actually believe in all ten of them. Our philosophy is the enlightened philosophy. We're the enlightened people, not them. <laughs> the statist philosophy is the philosophy of the tyrant. Say it. Explain it. We are the advocates of opportunity, not the status. We are the advocates of choice, not the status. We are the advocates of human rights, not the status. We are the advocates of opportunity, not the status. We stand for the little guy. We stand for the little guy. We stand for every guy. They stand for big government. We stand for the union member. They stand for the union bosses. We stand for the children. They stand for the abortion clinics. Yeah.